All right. Well, hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, wherever and whatever time you guys are catching this. I know that we have uh, people all across the world that join us every Monday night here on the Monday Note. So I want to thank all of you guys for taking time out of your busy Monday to join us on uh, tonight's topic. There are no special guests, just me tonight with you guys sharing some of our philosophies and things that we have rocked and rolled on and then really do a great job with. And uh, for those of you that are joining us for the first time, we have these calls every Monday. We provide content for you to use in your either your note business, your real estate business, or if you're looking to invest in the note business with other investors, here's some great information for you to be able to utilize with, and help you make decisions. So uh, <laughs> glad to have you, Vance. As always, we do get started about three minutes after the hour just to let people get logged on and get rocking and rolling. Uh, we know that, hey, oh, i got to jump on at 7 o'clock, and sometimes we all know how that goes. But really excited to have you guys on tonight. Uh, this is one subject tonight that I really am passionate about. I think for those of you that know me, uh, really big into helping people raise private capital. We'll get into that in a second. But first of all, as always, connect with me online, everybody, on the different social media websites out there. You can find us usually at one Scott Carson or at the video on YouTube or on Vimeo by looking for We Close Notes, all right? There is a ton, a ton, over 45 hours of uh, video and just the Monday notes that are on there and a ton of good content and some upcoming events that we'll be speaking at as well over the next few weeks on the social media website. So um, we just wrapped up our Fast Track training this last weekend, this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Had a great time. Um, <laughs> That's uh, from everybody in the uh, elevator headed out to the Oasis, headed up to the floor to catch up, play a little courthole, have a good time. Just a great group of investors. Expect some big things from those. You have Sam and Jerry McMillan. you got Ed Gray. you got Jay Rott. you got Giovanni and Tatiana. you got Robert. Just you guys. Uh, and then that's not for awesome. It's Shane as well. Uh, just a, a really good group of individuals. Just It's always nice to spend three days with people who get it who implement things and are off and rocking. Uh, rocking. <laughs> I have to give a big shout-out to Chase Thompson for coming up and spending two days with us. And as always, my VP of operations, Stephanie Goodman, uh, for really helping make it successful. Could not do without them. And most importantly, it's exciting to see the uh, the results of these new students that are part of the mastermind about rocking along. So uh, just a great time, great fellowship. Uh, and it's you know, like I said before, if you're interested, let us know. We'll be glad to uh, let you know when the next Fast Track is. It's actually in mid-May. So, anyway, uh, we do have some great updates on the note closures groups. We were adding some uh, big things and things. We've added, actually, in Denver, in San Diego, in Las Vegas to the note closures groups, along with in uh, Colorado Springs, too, and Louisville. So, uh, we sent an email out earlier with this invite. Make sure to take advantage and join those groups. Um, they're there to help you network with other note investors. It's there to help you literally post deals, raise capital, make things happen. So get signed up for those. Uh, the ones in the red have been around. The ones in the green are kind of new. We don't have them all in Minneapolis and Milwaukee and area places like that. But Portland we do, Las Vegas, uh, not in Phoenix yet, but we do have a big chunk of them. This will be the footprint of them rolling out going forward. So. Make sure you take advantage of sign up those to network with other local note investors, everybody. All right. Well, we are always excited to uh, talk about where we're going and where we're headed. never gets old. <laughs> a little big and rich there for you guys, but we are excited. We've got a busy uh, schedule here the next whoops. I don't want to play it again. Nope. Hang on here. Sorry. Whoops. Um, this next Thursday through Sunday, well, actually I'll be there Thursday, Friday in Orlando. For those of you that are out in Florida, uh, Chris McClatchy is having his Real Wealth Millionaires Mastery event. Great event. Great lineup. Duncan Weirman will be talking about marketing. Greg Reed will be speaking there. Uh, just a huge lineup of great people. A good investor. He's got 15 different millionaires coming out, including myself, to come out and share our expertise on our specific subjects. You can still take advantage. If you go to my Facebook page, we posted a link to this 
So you can take advantage of that and get signed up and actually save you a hundred bucks uh, off the normal two fifty price at one forty nine. So you can go to Facebook at Facebook page and register directly there. Uh, after that, though, I won't be there till the second. Actually, flying out April first to Reno, Nevada, to join Aaron Young, Kevin Day, Jeff Conway, and uh, Bernie Dorman, and a few with others for the secrets of using a, a millionaire secrets of using an LLC or corporation workshop with Aaron Young and his group of uh, Mary Misfits, uh, the first and the second. Um, enjoyed speaking here. This is a great group. If you are looking, at that Nicola was and you're looking for, I might have an extra ticket or two to get in for free. Uh, let me know if you're interested. It's only good for this April 1st, 2nd. It's not good for a future workshop. But Aaron, let me know. I had a couple extra tickets that I could give away. So if you, are, you and your spouse are really interested in some asset protection, might be an event you want to go to out in Reno, Nevada, at the Sheraton there in the Reno. So... Feel free to email me directly at Scott at We Close Notes if you'd like to take advantage of getting a, a free ticket to that event. Usually the tickets are a thousand bucks each to it, and we've got I think four spots is all that's left. And Aaron offered them up to me to give to you a few people if you're interested. So, um, also we have our upcoming Note Mastermind here in Austin, April fifteenth to the seventeenth. What's somebody said posted? Uh, me, I want to go, please. Okay, Nahid, just drop me an email at Scott at We Close Notes dot com. And we'll make sure and get you a free ticket to it. Okay. Um, really excited about it. next Austin Note Mastermind group is the 15th and 17th. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday here in Austin, Texas. I think we've got over 50 plus people from my mastermind group already RSVP'd. Just going to be a great event. I got some really great things lined up for the mastermind group. And I know not everybody's able to make it out, but I wanted to give you all an opportunity if you're interested in kind of getting a sneak peek and Networking with a few of those guys, or anybody you interested in networking with some of the mastermind students? So, for those of you that are interested, the Thursday, the 14th, April the 14th, um, we're going to post together a, a happy hour the Thursday night. And I got to give a big shout out to Quest IRA. Quest IRA is helping sponsor that event. Um, it's going to be actually at the Liberty Tavern down at the Hilton, but it'll be the Thursday. April 14th is when we're going to be having a happy hour. Uh, we'll be opening up to the note closer groups in the area. Um, you won't be able to come to the 15th to 17th, but you can network Thursday night with a fellow note masterminds. Okay? Be at the Liberty Tavern downtown. Sounds good, Ron. Look forward to seeing you there, buddy. Look forward to seeing you there. We got quite a few people coming in. All right? I know uh, Robbie and Chase with Don't NBA are coming in. We got Jay Tenenbaum from the West Coast. Just people all across the country coming in and spend. Three days with us at the Austin Note Mastermind. So definitely take advantage. Come out and hang out with us for a couple of evenings. First drinks on, first drinks on me. All right. Uh, for those of you that are out in California, uh, we do have something to keep in mind, too. The uh, REI Expo is now the Think Realty Expo, and that's taking place actually in Long Beach, uh, at the Long Beach Convention Center, April 23rd. Uh, we may be actually trying to do a meetup group uh, out that deck of the woods, just a networking event on the uh, Friday, April 22nd, or the 21st, probably the 21st. Uh, actually, we're going to do the 21st. 22nd is a Friday night. We probably won't do it then. But anyway, uh, for those of you guys that are out in that neck of the woods, the note closes group, trying to bring a couple groups together with the uh, Orange County, L.A. County, maybe even San Diego group together as well uh, for a night of networking, note investing, and just some really good stuff. If you'd like some discounted tickets to the Think Realty Expo, I can get them for you too as well. I've got a special discount code. Let me know, but that's in Long Beach, California, April 23rd is when the event is at the Long Beach Convention Center. So just drop me an email at scott at weclosenotes.com, and we can get you all taken care of with uh, some discount tickets to that event. Okay? Um, let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Millionaire Mastery, Millionaire Secrets, No Mastermind, we talked about that. No Mastermind, great. Um, too late to hear by talking online. Yeah, David, I'm just going to be speaking out there on the three F's of note investing, how to find, fund, and flip at the Millionaire Mastery. You're going to have Marshall Silver, Duncan Weirman. You're going to have Greg Reed, Ron Klein. So really, uh, Chris has put together an amazing all-star lineup out in Orlando. And uh, if you're wanting to go, make sure you go to my Facebook page. I posted a link to it where you can also get a discount code of SC2016 to get $100 off your, your uh, the $249 tuition. Uh, Long Beach, and then, of course, oh, yeah, our next virtual note buying for dummies is May 13th, 14th, and 15th. 
you guys are interested. Yeah. Yeah, no, the mastermind is not for dope beginners. We come out and, on the 14th to network with everybody, give you a feel for where things are going. But yeah, no, the uh, the note mastermind is not for beginners. If you're looking, if you're a beginning note investor, Dion, uh, you probably want to come out and hang at the uh, well, come to the next virtual, but or come out on the 14th and just network and see. Well, I got some really cool things lined up for the night of the 14th. So Dion, I think you're the Dion we met in Houston. Come on out the 14th, and you'll get a chance to network, rub some elbows, some really serious note investors. Okay. Any questions about uh, the upcoming event calendar there for you guys and gals? I like to throw these up there just so you have an idea. I know we're all across the country. I go from uh, Orlando to Reno, back to Austin here, and then Long Beach, and then back here. And then also, what do we have going on, too? Maybe, maybe be heading up to Dallas to speak here in May or June as well, too. So let's see what other questions. i got a couple questions popped up. Uh, uh, the night of the 14th will probably be from 6 to 8 p.m. We won't do, make it too late because the fact is we, we start the next morning with the mastermind people flying in from all across the country. But it'll probably be from 6 to 8 p.m. And I believe we're going to have it at the Liberty Tavern down off of the – there off the 1st, 2nd Street right there in the Hilton. So more information to come as we get closer to that event. Okay? No problem. Sounds good, David. All right. Make sure you uh, drop me an email, David, and I'll be glad to forward that over. Uh, anything scheduled for New York? Good question. I need to get out in the East Coast a little bit. Uh, there is an upcoming, I think, realty event in Baltimore in June. Um, I don't have anything else for New York right now, though. No offense. Will I be doing any note buying for dummy workshops this year in person? Uh, honestly, probably no. They're probably all going to be virtual. It's, just, it's become so much easier. We're trying to cut down on a lot of the flights that we did last year. Um, you know, we just like the, the virtuals will make it easy, provide the same amount of content. It's just nice doing that and being able to stay home and sleep in my own bed at night versus travel. I'm sure you guys can all uh, understand that. But uh, as far as New York, probably Baltimore would be the closest thing. We might make a trip up there and do a, a one-night meetup group of some sort or something. But anyway, we'll move on here. All right. So. Um, our Hump Day Happy Hour this Wednesday was phenomenal with Jason Bible. I think Jason just threw some great nuggets down this last Wednesday. Look for the uh, link on YouTube. Um, I have two potential guests. I'm waiting for one of them to get back to me this Wednesday night. Um, I'm really excited. We've had guys on. I'm going to have a woman on this week. I'm going to have a woman on this week as the Hump Day Happy Hour just because it's time, right? Time to have a woman on. Strong, powerful woman. Talk about what's going on in their life and go from there. So keep an eye on that. Any questions on any of this stuff before we dive into the main content, everybody? What's beautiful about the uh, <laughs> the Happy on the 14th Quest IRA is promoting it as well. And so we'll have a lot of local IRA investors coming out to hang out with us there at the events. It'll be great money-raising if you're out there networking and doing some great things. Plus, you just get a chance to meet a lot of the, the note investors making things happen all across the country. So, all right. Well, let's – oh, question popped up here. Yeah, I will be emailing those out. Great question, Matt. I'll be sending those emails out tomorrow uh, with some of the different upcoming events for everybody. we Will do. You're welcome. All right. Well, let's dive into it. Uh, for those of you guys looking for the previous note replays, you can always go to bit.ly slash the Monday note to download the uh, links to the last previous Monday notes we've had. All right. The 33, 34, 35 of them we've done over the last 35 weeks. So, um, or actually over the last year. But uh, there's a ton of them out there for you to download. So, the private money formula. Now, I love this photo when I saw it. And I see, I cracked up because I know a lot of people struggle with like, ugh. Raising capital, that's always the biggest thing. When we post something like that, it's always a huge turnout. Like, how do I raise private capital? How do I raise private money? And literally, it is simple as, like, the numbers in the background. Three times five is 15. Three times three is nine, okay? Four minus two is two. It's really a simple formula. You just have to do it over and over again when I'm going to share with you guys tonight, okay? 
it's not hard. So do yourselves a favor. Everybody grab a piece of paper, pen, pencil, something like that. Something to take some notes with because you're going to want to write this stuff down. Okay? All right. And I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions as I go here. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to, I'm going to ask some polls here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. All right. So how often, here we go. I'm going to launch a poll for you guys. All right. I ask you guys, it's just a second here. When was the last time you literally reached out to your data? When was the last time you emailed your database? Do me a favor. Just take a few seconds, fill that out here. Oh, this is not looking good. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys a question. How many of you guys and gals that are on this call are struggling raising private money? All I need is a simple yes. I know we got uh, over 100 people on here, but just simply say yes, struggle, yes, yes, no, okay? All right. Keep voting, everybody. If you haven't voted yet, okay. If you're at the beginning, don't worry about it, okay? I don't even have to ask the rest of the next questions because you guys have already answered. All right. Okay. Everybody on here except uh, two people. <laughs> Don't worry about the history link. It'll be available. This will be available for replay so you can watch this later, Dan. Okay. So, uh, actually, Perry, you everybody... Uh, Everybody has a database. You don't have to be brand new to have a database, okay? All right, wow, this is awesome. I love it when I answer questions on you guys, okay? We have to delete most of these yeses. There's only two no's in here. And honestly, I think the two no's aren't actually accurate too, though. All right, so let's close that one. I'm going to ask you another thing. How many of you guys and gals have a CRM tool like MailChimp and, uh, or AWeber or Constant Contact? Or how many of you guys have one of those? Oh, my, this is funny. Okay, answer the questions. Just answer the, the poll I just posted there. Actually, it's not a chore. I'm a cat, but I've not used it. Yeah. Oh, Ron, you're killing me. You're actually, you're not killing me. You're killing yourself. Keep voting. Keep voting, everybody. Keep voting. All right. So. Well, tonight's private money formula is going to take into the things, all right, it's going to be taking into a lot of those things that we talked to Ashley here in the last two polls here for you. All right, I'm closing that one. All right. So the question I have, I hear a couple quotes here, okay? We are the average of the five people we hang out the most with. So I want you to think for a second and write down the five people you hang out the most with. You don't have to post on here. I want you to write that down for a second, okay? Write down the average of the five people that you hang out with, right? or the five people you hang out the most with. Don't include your spouse. You don't hang out with them. You're married to them. <laughs> okay? Your five friends are the five people you hang out with the most with. They're the people at your work or people outside of your work. Who are the five people you hang out with the most? And most of you guys are going to probably talk about some coworkers, okay? All right? Or your best friend. Okay. Now, as you're raising capital, and you're also what I have found, and I, I, I people have expectations based on the people they hang around with. They let their friends they hang out with the most set their expectations on what they can or cannot do. So the questions I have for all of you is: Are your friends holding you back, 
or are your friends enabling you or making helping you make things happen? Or are they holding you back from being able to go do things because they have you tied into doing things like bowling or hanging out drinking beer or, or they don't have any dreams outside of work? Okay. Uh, my good buddy, Greg Reed, who was mentored by this guy named Charlie Tremendous Jones. And Charlie Tremendous Jones is known for this quote. You will be the same person in five years except for the books that we read and the people that we meet. We will be the same in five years except for the books that we read and the people that we meet. Think about that. So what does that mean? Well, it means either, A, you're feeding yourself knowledge through books to expand yourself, or you're networking with new people and really learning, taking counsel from others. Okay? This is – I don't care what type of real estate you're in. Investing, real estate is still a people business. I think we can all agree to that. All right? And two things on here, the survey results, okay? Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, 98% of you that are on this call said you don't have enough money. You struggle, okay? Or I should say this, you didn't, re you reached out, even <laughs> emailed out to your database in a long time. Okay, and then about it's about 56 have a CRM tool and 44% no don't have a CRM tool. So we'll get into these two things later on. Okay, so but for those for that person oh I don't have a, a database. Yeah, we all have a tribe. Okay, Seth Godin who's an amazing reader, an amazing writer, it's amazing write, read, uh, talks about how we all have tribes. We all have a network of people that we sur surround us, and that's we're in the middle, and people are dying to be led. Okay, and I'm talking about friends, family, cohorts, co connections online, people we've met around traveling the country. We all have a tribe that surround us. All right. So, and what's really sad is if your tribe and you are in real estate of some sort already, and your tribe has no clue what you're doing already. That's what's so sad. Okay. And Kenneth, I just read your thing. I did not read that beforehand. It's just this is when you say most don't know what I'm up to. They have no idea about nuts. They think it must be illegal. That's very unfortunate. That's so sad. That's sad on your part because literally you could be have if you shared with your information with your tribe, your tribe literally your database, especially if it's on the real estate side or something, could literally be driving you forward. Okay, or in some cases, if you're not doing anything, they're going to drive somebody forward. It's just not going to be you because whether you like it or not. In the absence of leadership, people will listen to the loudest voice. Unfortunately, for a lot of those people, the loudest voice is what's on TV, especially right now with all this stupid, idiotic political crap. They're getting led some ways down the road. And unfortunately, not many of us are taking that challenge and leading, choosing to lead our database, choosing to lead our tribe, the people that trust and like us. Okay? All right? We're not. We just choose not to because, A, we're either scared or we just don't know what the hell to, to do. Well, if you did anything, it would be better than not doing anything, okay? Okay? So the question I have is you have to learn, if you're going to really raise capital, if you're really going to close deals, you've got to build a network, okay? And a lot of us have gone to different events. Like a lot of us have gone to Noteworthy and built a network there are going to meetups all the time, you know, your local RIA clubs, you're going out to the expos, you're going out to, you're on LinkedIn with a network on there. But, but the, the point of going to all these things, ladies and gentlemen, the point of going to every one of these things is this. Your goal is to get a business card, right? Your business, your, your goal is to get a contact information, name, phone number, email. And what's unfortunate is many of you go to these things you don't talk to people. You don't get out and network with them. You're scared. You don't collect this. All you do is waste your time and waste your money. All right? And for all of you on here this call tonight, this is probably not going to be one of your guys' favorite calls. You'll be like, man, something's wrong with Scott tonight. He's really looking into people. I am just amazed the amount of time and money and resources people are wasting. Wasting. You might as well take cash and fucking burn it. Because you're not doing the things you need to do to raise capital to make deals happen. And I get people all the time that want to do things, 
and they don't do it because I don't know what it is. Whether it's a mind block or they just don't have belief in themselves. I don't know what the excuses that people tell. But you guys overwhelmingly already answered tonight the problem. You just don't communicate with your database. You're building a database, but you're brand new to it, and you just don't communicate. And communication is key. A lot of you have this whole idea that you're just going to, mm, when you have a deal <laughs> or you have money for a deal, you're just going to wave a smoke signal and shit's going to show up. <laughs> and honestly, if you're doing the right things, it can, it can show up for you. But most of you are still in that mid-1800s way of doing business or raising capital. Okay? You're doing it this way versus A, leveraging things like Facebook and social networks or using a CRM tool like MailChimp or something else. What's really sad is half of you have something, but you're not using it. All you're doing is either wasting money each month by no donating to Infusionsoft or AWeber or Constant Contact or MailChimp and not doing anything. All right? Not doing anything at all. Because I would expect to see a whole lot more. I look back in my emails in the last week. I've been keeping track of this because I knew what this was the money note was going to be about. I've seen less than like six emails from anybody communicating to their database that was probably in here. Okay. We got one today from Chase, which is a really good one. Chase is starting something new with daily marketing, which is great. He's communicating with his database, but he hasn't been communicating enough with his database either. We talked this weekend. But you guys, and Chase has. A little bit of get out because he has the podcast that he does every week of the Known MBA with Robbie Woods. Uh, there's other things you can do communication. It doesn't just have to be email, but most of you still aren't doing a damn thing. You aren't doing anything at all. And so you keep living this life day to day, going to the JOB, struggling to do the, and you expect things to change because you're doing the same godforsaken things every day. Nothing's going to change until you start changing or you get outside of your comfort level to start making things happen. Okay, so the whole private money formula is this, very simple, very, very freaking simple, okay? You take your number of database emails and contacts you have, people that you have an email address with, okay? Take the, your total number. Some of you take a second, figure out what your LinkedIn connections have, all right? How many of you on here have a shoebox full of business cards that you've never entered into your database? How many of you do? Share with me. If you do, great. If you don't, great. Whatever. Guilty, guilty. Gu yep, yep, yep. Do, do, do. All right. Now, the question I have about half entered. Eh, guilty. So, a lot of you that have a shoebox of business cards, I'm glad you finally did, Bill. It's about damn time, though. <laughs> Emails are good for about 18 months. If you've got a stack of business cards, you've got a stack of contacts that are sitting in a shoebox, you've never entered them in, It's just a, you might as well just burn your money there. Because I guarantee you, probably a third of those emails are bad. Because the average email is good, like I said, for 18 months. After 18 months, those emails are going to fall off. All right? You're going to have unsubscribes. If you do send an email out to them, they're not going to work. So you you all that have this stuff, shame on you. You're only hurting yourself. Okay? So you take all your contacts that you actually have in a database that's in MailChimp or, in worst case, Excel. Take your number of database emails and contacts. You multiply that number times a thousand, a thousand bucks. Okay. The number that it gives you is the number is your initial private money pool. Okay. Vance, that's great. You're not the norm, though, buddy. You're not the norm, okay? So think about this. If you have 300 contacts, all right, and you multiply it times 1,000 bucks, that means your private money pool is only 300,000 of private money, okay? So who wants to share with me what roughly their numbers are? Anybody want to share with me? I know I've been a little rough so far. I promise to be gentle. <laughs> I promise to be gentle. All right, so, Ron, you've got, okay, you've got 600 contacts. That means times 1,000. That means you've got 600K in private pool money. Now, the question is, Ron, how are you? How often are you emailing out to your database? 
Bill, you've got 1,500 contacts. That's 1 1.5 million. How much are you emailing out to your database, you two guys? Zip, okay. Kenneth, you got 6,000 contacts on LinkedIn. How many people, how many times are you reaching out to your database about your investment stuff? Is it zip? Ron zip. So you have nothing to send out. So you really have zero then. Bill, I haven't last month. Okay. All right. See, the problem, okay, the problem, everybody, is, okay, is everybody is worth at least a 1000 bucks in your database. At least. Some are worth more. Some are worth less. But on average... Especially starting out, everybody's worth at least a thousand bucks or more. The more you send out to your database, the more you communicate, the more valuable your database becomes. And the least you send out, the less. Ron, we're going to use you for an example here. You got six hundred thousand in your database. How many deals could you buy for six hundred thousand? A ton, right? You could buy a ton. And if you were looking to leave your JAB, are you looking to leave your JAB to be an investor full time? Then you're, but you're not though. You're not because you're not doing a damn thing. And I love you, Ron. I give you a big hug when I see you next. You just aren't doing the things. <laughs> Bill, you're excited about doing things. You got to, And this, I say this because all of you are struggling with this. You guys all told me on it. Even those that said that you have a CRM tool, you guys aren't doing stuff on a regular basis because you're not closing the amount of deals you should. Okay. So, how do you? How did I grow my pool? Well, I grew my pool, all right, and the same things you can do. I connect my LinkedIn connections. I download my LinkedIn connections monthly, all right. I've connected my emails, and I know that some of you guys are working. You're scared to death. Oh my God, my boss is going to find out. Oh God. Oh, that's all the good stuff that we tell ourselves. All. That was bullshit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll go through how to get the content, man, how to communicate here in a second, okay? A lot of you just are out there talking to yourselves and just telling yourselves this. <laughs> Use my buttons and I don't like it, okay? You take your emails, connect your email to LinkedIn, all right? You download uh, your connections to a spreadsheet. You take all your business cards in a shoebox and get them into something. All you need is name, phone number, email, all right? You got to put into something, everybody. All right. You can also collect info through squeeze pages or forms. Simple. Like MailChimp has a really cool thing that you can create a list and it gives you a little link. And you can post that link on Facebook and say, hey, join my buyers list. Join my investors list. Click on the link here and it'll allow you to fill out their information. Or they'll fill out their information and now they're in your database. Okay. That's basically free with MailChimp. You can do that oh, on Twitter, on all your social media. Okay. You know, my buyers list is one of the best things you all could do as you're out networking with other people and read clubs. Hey, I got a buyers list. Are you interested in being a part? What do you think people are going to say? Hell yeah, they are. Okay? You could attend events. All right? Attend events and do like I do. If I'm going to be speaking somewhere at a big expo or something like that, I'm going to pay to get the attendee list. And it's, it's expensive, but I know that if I get 500 names on there, 500 new names of people at a network, that's over a half million dollars in private money. I can make that happen for deals very easily. Anybody can. All right? A lot of you are going to meetups and REI clubs and IRA events, but you're not taking the action. You do the first part, but you fail to follow up. You fail to really make things happen afterwards. Okay? So how do you harvest the money? Well, 80% of sales are made up of the fifth contact. That's one of my favorite quotes from Tom Hopkins. Okay? Tom Hopkins, the author of How to Map, How to Master the Art of Sales. Okay? Great guy. I had a chance to visit some time with him. Absolutely one of my favorite sayings because it's so true in the note industry. Okay? If you do regular contact with your list, it will lead to deals. It will also lead to money. Okay? You just have to do things on a regular basis. And I'm not talking about just reaching out to asset managers. I'm talking about regular content to your database. Okay? 
once and done is not the correct way. And many of you, many of you on here, have sent an email out once and then never followed back up. So you are starting back over. Okay? You have to start back over again because people will forget about you. People have a short attention span. People will forget about what the hell you're doing and who you are if you don't reach out on a regular basis, everybody. Okay? You also have to build trust and branding over time. Now, branding, I don't mean branding you're going to go out in your new company. I'm talking about branding you individually. Like a lot of people on here who have done multi-level things, different jobs, sold soap on a rope, Advocare, whatever it is you've done, your friends, family, and colleagues, either A, they think of you as that person who did that, but they don't know who the hell you are when it comes to real estate investing. McDonald's didn't sell a bill and cheeseburgers by just posting a sign up. They literally communicated to their database. All right? Think about that. Think about that. Think about how much advertising goes on. You're not advertising yourself. And so what's happening? The people that are advertising are stealing your list, especially if you're networked and your list is made of meetup groups and networking events. Somebody who's going to do it is going to steal your private money network. And so every time you don't send an email in a month or something like that, your average fades. It fades. Your amount may not be 600000 Your amount may be closer to 100000 because you haven't done the things you needed to do along the way. I know that's scary. Yeah, Carl. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially if you run an event and you don't collect people out there, okay? I, I need to transfer my database to my real estate side. don't know how to. Now, Heat, I don't know how to transfer it for you or what you're on, but it's pretty easy to export things and post it in your database, okay? So, your list is only half it, okay? Yes, a big list is only good if you communicate with it on a regular basis. That's anything big. <laughs> You've got to use it on a regular basis or you're going to lose it. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, growing your list is great, but if you don't communicate, it's not worth it at all. Networking, you might as well stay at home and watch TV if you're not going to communicate with the database. Okay? And sending out just one email to your list is just a waste of your time. Literally, if you're only going to do it once, it's only a waste of your time. A lot of us are gunslingers out there just firing away with no type of plan. you got to have a marketing plan to make things happen. Pre-plan to send regular emails. Pre-plan, and what's beautiful about MailChimp and Infusionsoft and these CRM tools, is you, go, you can go ahead and pre-schedule emails to go out. You don't have to sit around and wait to kind of reinvent the wheel. Write it and send it out. If you're in a mood to write, write it and send it out. Okay? Monthly, weekly, daily emails, all right? Monthly should be a minimum that you guys are doing. Weekly should be better. Daily might be a little too much, but at least you guys are mostly probably in the weekly category. But most of you aren't even doing the monthly, okay? That's not too much. If you did a month, that's 12 emails. If you did it once a week, it's 52. Once every two weeks, it's 26. You all could share all the things you are learning and growing on, and networking, and events you attend with so much information. So, how do you, how do I raise real money? Well, let's go through this. Let's go through kind of your plan of action, because most of you guys don't know this. If 80% of sales are made after the fifth contact, then you only will tap into 20% with the first five contacts. So think about this, okay? So let's go back to Ron here. You're, it said 600 Contacts, your list is 600,000. You're only going to tap into really 120,000 of that money within the first five contacts. Okay, the first time you reach out to the database, the five times is when you're going to tap in. You got to get beyond the five to tap into the 80, everybody. Okay, you have to expect results after continuous effort. Many of us send an email out and they'll send it to our database. And nobody will respond. We're like, oh, shit, that doesn't work. Screw it. I'm not going to do it. Well, yeah, it doesn't work if you stop it up the first time. You have to do it regularly and regularly and regularly to build a following, to build a brand, to build an image, to build like and rapport and like and trust 
with their database to have them start to realize, hey, I need to call that guy. Hey, I need to call that gal because they look like they're actually doing something. I need to find out more information what Laura's doing. I need to find out more information what Diane is doing. Okay? Because if you're not communicating your database, you could literally be a paraplegic in your room emailing out and raising capital versus going out and pressing palms. Okay? You have to communicate what you're doing. Yeah, all of us have database from friends, family, but they think of us as the engineer or the trash dealer or whatever it is. They're never going to be in, have the insight to understand what you are doing because a lot of you guys, your passion is real estate investing or you use that to do other things. Well, but if you're not communicating that, it's never you're never going to have your passions or other things really funded because you guys are never going to talk about it and never share your image and share your passion with your database. Thank you. So let's talk about what kind of numbers to expect with your first five. Now, we went back with the example. If you have 300 contacts at 1000 bucks on average, that means you're going to tap into 300000 in private money. Okay, so write this down. You all should be writing this thing down right now. Okay, so if 80% of 300000 is $240,000, you are not going to see that until you get past the fifth contact. Okay, so that means... Within your first five emails, five contacts, you're really only going to tap into sixty thousand dollars in private money, okay? And that's not a lot of money to do stuff with. We can all agree to that because with the first email, um, you might raise twelve k. Second email, you might raise twelve k. Third email, you might raise another twelve k. Fourth email, you might raise an additional twelve k. And the fifth email, you might get twelve k. That's totally there's sixty grand. That's your twenty percent. Now, the bigger your database is, and then at least get the fifth email out, better off. Now, these emails, the first, the time between the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth can't be long. If it's a month long between each one, yeah, you're really kind of starting over, okay? So let's go through this. <laughs> if you, Yeah, if your email <laughs> difference, you might as well just be taking the dollars that you spent and wiping your ass and flushing it down the toilet, okay? Seriously, because... Trust me, you're going to get outgunned. You're going to get outmanned by everybody else. And the one thing that you have on par with everybody else out there is you all don't have to spend huge amounts of money on email. Email is still the cheapest and the highest profitable return on investment for investors out there as far as marketing. For every dollar you spend in email, you make it's a 44% ROI for every dollar. For every dollar you spend, you're going to get $44 back. In some cases, it's higher than that. On average, it's a 43, 4,400% ROI for email. Okay? So how fast to raise your money? Let's talk about this. For some of you guys that haven't raised money in the last month, mm, if you send an email out to your database in the last month, you're raising $0. Okay? So if you, spend out, if you send out once a month, one email once a month, and you do it regularly in the first of the month, five months. It'll take you five months to raise more than the initial 20% of your database. You send it out once, twice a month. It'll take you two and a half months. That's not bad. It's kind of appropriate, especially if you're part-time. Okay? Really, if the first one would be really if you're no time. Okay? If you send it out once a week, which is very, very applicable, you could be raising money in five weeks. As little as five weeks to tap into your database for private money. If you send it out twice a week, you can literally have this done before in the middle of April if you really wanted to. Does that make sense, everybody? Maybe you send it out Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Thursday. If you send it out once a week, eh, you should all be at least sending it out once a week. At least once a week if you're doing anything. Okay? Do it twice a month, every like two, two and a half weeks. That's not really exciting. If you're doing it once a month, you really should probably do something else. You're never going to get to the point where your real estate pays for things. Because you're, you're never going to raise the capital you need to make things happen. Any questions about this so far, everybody? Yes, you send to the same contacts every week in an email blast through an e a CRM tool like MailChimp or Infusionsoft or somebody like that. that you can track your open rates. You can see who clicked on it, okay? 
Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Thanks, Vance. Do you have a template we can use, like what to say, what not to say in those things? Perry, you just have to communicate. I'm not going to give you – if I gave you a template, you wouldn't send it out anyway. <laughs> if you haven't been sending things out now, no freaking sample email is going to help you do it. Just freaking do it. Exactly, Stephen. Just do it. Share what's going on in your life. And let me go do some things that you can talk about, okay? Go on a MailChimp. It'll help you. You can create your own template on these websites for what you want to send out, okay? So what the heck do I talk about? As some of you guys are asking me right now. <laughs> uh, do you need to have a deal? Well, maybe so, maybe not. Let's talk about that. You can talk about your past deals, all right? Maybe it's not the current deal you're working on. Maybe it's past deals you're talking about, okay? Maybe it's deals you're working on. Maybe it's deals you're working through due diligence is a really great way to get people excited. Hey, here's a deal I'm working on. Hey, here's a map of the deals that I'm working on, okay? Hey, here are, here's an event that I'm going to. Anybody going to this, okay? Or I went to this past event and I really had a great time. I learned this. I networked. I got to say hi with Tony Robbins or Greg Reed. Really got some really cool stuff to, there. You guys have to start doing this now, though. If you're not making offers on deals, because if you start making offers on deals, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot when you come around to it, okay? You have to keep your database literally aware of what, abreast of what you're doing, okay? You can do a short video on your journey, and while your journey could be literally, hey, here's a deal I'm making an offer on this week, and I learned this week. You can do short videos straight from your smartphone, everybody, your, your Samsung or whatever it is. Record it and post it straight to YouTube. You can write a short blog, short article on an article, Okay, share what's going on. Share with your database. Share with your tribe. Right? Because if you don't, you you should just go do something else. If you got your own money, great. Just let's just give me your money and we'll we'll invest it for you. But you're not going to have the type of returns. You're never going to have the type of business you want until you start taking action. Okay. Your marketing budget is critical, and as I said before, it doesn't have to be a huge budget. Okay. Some th simple things. You guys like the truck thing I did, so I just jumped on Fiverr.com and created a whole, hey, I'm coming to your city thing. All right, got a logo being created on there, Fiverr.com, for like less than 100 bucks. Facebook ads are really, really cheap as well to help with marketing. Hey, get on my buyers list, click on this link, and that link can take them straight to your uh, MailChimp account where they can log, you know, literally live their information. So you can spend like 10 bucks a day on Facebook, okay? Social media posts are really, really cheap. LinkedIn, Pulse. Um, Instagram, literally things that you post there, okay? LinkedIn article is a great place. So here's a blog on why I like notes, or why I dislike first, or why seconds don't come first, okay? You do little YouTube videos. You can take pictures of your old deals on animoto.com and create a video that gets uploaded to YouTube. There's a whole variety of great things that you could do to market yourself, okay? And while investors like the information, they want to see a real deal. So share your past deals, what you learned, what you did, even on your ugly deals, the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? Share it, share it, share it, share it, okay? Just freaking do something. And I'm, I'm, I see people show up to events over and over and over again, and it's all the same freaking... Bullshit detected. Take precautions. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. And I'm going to share a really good success story with you guys. My buddy Wayne Snell out of Dallas. Wayne and I were texting each other Friday night or Saturday night. I think it was Friday night. I just texted him and wishing him and his family happy Easter. And Wayne is close, getting ready to close on his 55th deal. Okay? 55 deals Wayne has closed on. And Wayne works like 70, 80 hours a week. Travels abroad with his existing company. He's getting ready to leave his company. He has closed 55 deals while being a slave to somebody else's dream. He's not waiting for others. He's going out and making it fucking happen. And I get fired up about this, but I'm so proud of Wayne. Because Wayne and Wayne had some bad stuff happen to him. Wayne has uh, had a, a previous investor steal money from him. He had a couple of deals that went south. 
but he is out knocking it out of the freaking park with the deals he's making. He's not taking no for an answer. He's making it freaking happen. If you ever get a chance to meet Wayne Snell out of Dallas, take the time to visit with him. He knows it. I know some of you guys have invested with him. All right. You just have to realize, aren't you all getting sick and tired of hearing other people's successes versus making it your own? Yeah, this is recorded. This is recorded. It'll be online later tonight. Okay. Yep. He's a good guy, isn't he, Ron? Question here. 100% right. Just take a couple hours, one or two days a month. I should have ton of schedule for the entire month across all your social media. Yeah, you could. You could literally go to uh, Buffer and write most of your social media posts. You can write, go into MailChimp and re, pre-write your emails. I have to go out once a week. Okay? You can use interesting things that are coming out. Like I like using the video, the movie stuff, 50 Shades of Grey, 50 Shades of Notes, Note Pool. <laughs> Uh, Batman versus Superman, first first versus seconds. All right? There's a whole variety of things you can do. You just have to do it. The, the interests that you have, the things you enjoy doing, share those because it's a great way for you to be able to share your passions with somebody else. But none of you are doing this. All of you on here that said you're not communicating are just not really sharing the vision that you want. Okay? And... I bring up Chase's photo here because Chase is an amazing thing he's doing, and he doesn't know I'm talking about it tonight. Let me know. He does not know that I'm on here talking about it tonight. And Chase has done an amazing job over the last year and a half, two, actually two years. Um, actually, it's been a year and a half since he we he became a really a full time note investor. He got laid off from his job, and we brought him on to help out and had him come out to Noteworthy, and he puts out some amazing content. This, it makes my shit look juvenile, okay? And half of my, most of my good shit, the, the, you know, Uncle Sam and Note Pool has come from Chase, and I'm completely happy with that. He's getting ready to launch something here the 1st of April with daily emails and content and things that you guys, you guys should all take advantage of it. If you aren't on his list, I will email him the list tonight, and you'll have a chance to do it. But he's charging, like, 97 bucks a month after that. And you will all be stupid not to sign up for that. Stupid. Literally the most retarded thing you could ever do. You would be better at going and wiping your ass with a dollar, hundred dollar bill versus not signing up for it. Okay? And I don't have a link to it. I'm gonna literally just send them the database of everybody that signed up tonight for those that take advantage of it. You guys, I think the first couple of weeks or the first month is free for you. You guys if you're looking for content, Chase is about to deliver some amazing things to make things happen. And you guys could do so much with your database and get it out. But the one biggest thing that you have to realize is you just have to start somewhere. All right? You have to start somewhere to make things happen. If you don't start somewhere, you are never going to get anywhere. A lot of you have gone and are sitting in a car with the engine running, but you're too scared to put the car in the drive. That's where most of you are. You've you've put together, you've gone to the classes, you have the knowledge. You understand note investing. You have the car, you have the engine. But you will never get anywhere because you aren't dropping it into drive. It's still sitting your car is sitting in park. And you're never getting down that highway to where you want to go, to your dreams, to the life that you want, until you take your foot off the brake and put it into drive. Think about that for a second. No, you should just have one LinkedIn profile. It's okay to post on your LinkedIn profile that you have other other interests. You don't need one for biz, one for job. Chase him. Chase Dan is Chase Thompson, one of the best marketing gurus for real estate when it comes to out there, bar none. And I, I'm very lucky to call him one of my best friends. But you have to do something. Tonight's call wasn't meant to be three hours long or two hours long. Really right about an hour long. You have to do something to make things happen. You're not where you want to be. You've got to change the action. If you want to lose weight, you got to get off your ass to go work out. All right? If you want to start feeling better, you probably need to eat better. If you want to close more deals, you got to make more offers. If you want to make things happen, 
and close more deals, you got to raise more capital, especially if you don't have the money yourself. You have to get out and talk to people. And that's what I have for you guys tonight. Any questions? But if you go back here, hopefully some of you guys have figured out your angle here. There's not really an angle, but literally, let's go back to this, the formula here. This is the formula right here. This is everything you need to know. So how soon are you going to go from zero to 20% to hit near 80% goals? I can't answer that. I can't do it for you. If you don't want to do the marketing and you've got money to invest, that's fine. Drop me an email. We'll put it to work for you. We'll give you a decent return and let you be happy that way. Questions? The easiest one, Dion, is MailChimp. MailChimp is the easiest one to use for a CRM tool. Uh, if you've got less than 2,000 contacts, it's free, actually. Those that provide the capital, how do you give them a return on their investment? We give them a return on their investment because it's a their joint venture agreement, outlines a flat return, 6, 8, 10, 12, whatever type of return you're looking for. We're going to do all the work, though, and you're not going to do any of it, you're probably going to get a flat return. You're not going to be joint venture no longer on a $25,000 investment for the most part. Okay? If you want more information about that, drop me an email. We'll be glad to get to talk to you more about our, JV, our, our, our funding deals that we have, opportunities that we have available for you. Okay? MailChimp is just the easy one, Dion. It is just the easiest one for you. It's simple to use. Looks professional. Doesn't cost a lot. All right. And you can have up to twenty-five thousand contacts. If you have less than twenty-five thousand contacts, just use MailChimp. It's much. E it's so easy to use. What are the questions that you guys have? You have to realize. You have to go through this to get into this. You've got to, you literally have to send five emails and do it over a time frame before your people are going to take you serious, before your database is going to really consider you worthy of investing their money, worthy of using their money to, to close deals. You might get one or two people here. You might have nobody respond to your emails, which is fine. At least just send it out. At least you delivered it to your 500, 1,000, 1,500 contacts. At least you send something out. Because I would rather deal with somebody who has 300 contacts and will send out regularly versus somebody that has 5,000 contacts and never sends anything out. Because that 300 contact email database that gets sent out is more valuable than somebody sitting on their ass not doing a damn thing. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Every time you send an email, you got to realize, okay, I've got this. I'm going to send another email out this week. Okay? No, you don't, Diana, because you're not sending out. You're hearing this. That's your list blowing up when you're not sending stuff out, when you're not reaching out. All right. <laughs> if you're looking for note deals, most of the note deals are going to fall under a quarter million when you're looking, buying stuff, everybody. Okay? As I said before, if you have more information about that, drop me an email. We'll talk about that here. We're not talking about that right now. Tonight's about the whole private money formula, and this is the formula for success. If you don't do this, just do something else. I am, I'm not going to be mad at you. I'm not going to hate you. I would rather you be successful at something versus doing not doing anything. It's like how bad would it have sucked if Michael Jordan never played basketball? All that talent gone. But what's sad is all of you are wasting talent by not reaching out to your database. Look, Dan, as I said before, Dan, I'm not gonna I don't look at that stuff right now. Okay? You can drop me an email, we'll talk about it later. Quit posting questions about funding deals on that right now. I don't know how 
precise I have to be, buddy. We're not talking about that right now, okay? <laughs> you guys got to realize that. Things, this is what you need to be worried about. If you're not going to do this, do something else. Save your money. Save your time. Donate it, okay? That's all I've got for you guys. Any questions before we wrap it up for the night? I thought long and hard about this over the last week, everybody, and it is what it is. Sometimes we just need to have somebody tell us to go do it, <clears throat> and I felt like this a long time ago that I need to go out and do it. I don't have a problem raising capital because I've done the deals. I've done the emails. I communicate on a regular basis. <clears throat> I can raise plenty of capital when I do it because I, at least I do it. If you guys don't do it, you will never experience the type of success, success that you can have. All right? All right, everybody. Well, hey, I appreciate you joining me on Monday night. Hope we had a great Easter. Get rock and roll and go do something. For those of you who will be in Orlando, look forward to seeing you guys there in Orlando or in Reno. All right, everybody. Have a great week. And uh, a Tampa meetup. What Tampa meetup? Oh, on the Tampa group, we'll be starting out here before too long. We'll be uh, actually Tampa's the Florida ones. We're opening. We have one in Cape Coral, but we'll be opening one in Tampa, Miami, Jacksonville, and uh, actually Miami, Fort Lauderdale. We one together, so we got four of those. So thanks, Richard. Appreciate. It. Thanks, David. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Jack. Have a great evening, and uh, we'll see you guys at the top. Bye. <laughs>